We are here with Washington State Women's Basketball Head Coach Cammie Etheridge. Coach, your team picks up a huge 60-62 victory in your season opening win. Just what's your thoughts on your team's effort today and just what do you think about coming out with the win? I'm just, I'm really happy for our team. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I think it's, um, if, if you'd ask me what I preferred in, um, in um, going into your first game, would you rather have a game under your belt and play a rival and play a Pac-12 game or would you like to be brand new to someone and they don't know who your players are on the team. And I would rather have a game under my belt, but uh, when we didn't have that, I thought we would have an advantage, in, you know, early on because people didn't know who our players were and their capabilities. And obviously you saw some really great play by Charlie's Ledger Walker, who is, is really a great player. And, and then beyond that, I just thought, you know, in a lot of ways we struggled, even, even though we won the game, I don't think we were real sharp. I don't think we, with any rhythm, but that's a credit to UW and their scrappiness and how they make you play. But it is just a huge thing to win and, and win on the road. And, you know, for us to, to beat uh, UW is a big is a big accomplishment. So I'm thrilled for us. Big turning point in the game happened early on. Your team fell behind 4-0 very early on, but then you turn it around and go on a 29-4 to run that goes all the way to the middle of the second quarter to extend out a lead. It's a lead you never relinquish. What were you doing successful there in the first 14 minutes of the game that just allowed you guys to take that lead and just continue to build on it. Yeah, I just thought we were really locked in defensively. You know, I, I think we have really good defense, you know, one-on-one -on -one defenders, maybe a little bit better than we've been in the past. Um, I think we're a little bit better rebounding team. I think we're deeper, so I think it lets us, you know, play more people if we need to, although we didn't tonight. And, um, you know, I just thought we, we got them out of rhythm. They, we made every shot that they were taking in the, in the first half hard. They had a bad night in, in the first half, and, and we put enough points on the board to get some separation. But I think it's a great sign for us in, in guarding one-on-one -on -one and, and making a team you know struggle as much as they did in the first half. Freshman Charlie Sledger Walker really made had a day game. She had 20 points. She had 16 of those in the first half. Really made her presence known in her first game here. Uh, Boris Lavahir Stova, who you had last year, scored 15 points in her career debut. So Charlie's already has a uh, heads up, leg up on the all-time leading score through one game. But in all seriousness, I'll just talk about Charlize's game and just, was that what you expected to see out of her? And is this, is this a performance that two fans can expect to see out of the young freshman moving forward? Well, I don't mean to be a wise guy, but I think she'll be better as, as she gets her feet under her. Um, I don't, I don't consider Charlie someone that needs 17 shots to get 20 points. And um, the good news is she got to the foul line a lot. I don't expect her to go over seven from three. I just think that's an indication of um, we were a little nervous. I mean, young players, they can't help it. Uh, it's, it's, it's been, they've just been waiting for this so much. We were too hyped. We weren't solid. I don't think any, I don't think we shot the, well, the ball well from the perimeter at all the entire night. And I do expect us to, to shoot the ball better uh, as we go forward. And I think she will. I think that's a, a glimpse of her. You know, she's surprising in her athleticism. I don't think you think it when you look at her. Um, she she can score, you know, in traffic. Um, she's a great passer. I mean, she has all the tools that, that you want in a player. And plus, she's just a, an awesome competitor and, and leader for our team already at a young age. So she's, a, she's get ready, and it's a good sign. She's going to get better even than she was tonight. Willa Motuga scored 16 points in her in her debut as well. She was one of the leading returning scorers from your team from a year ago. Just she was in her year last season, scoring double digits in four of her final six games. She kept it over again to start this season. Just what did you see out of her today, and what can she grow out, out of this performance? Yeah, I think Lula is just coming into her own. She's probably a player that in her first two years wasn't confident and probably got minutes in a program that struggled and and maybe it wasn't ready for the minutes that she got for two years. And now she's like, she's, she's a leader and she's tough and she's competitive and she's got a better work ethic and she's a great basketball mind. She's always the smartest player on the court. And that includes the coaches. And uh, so she can talk and she's, she's easy to play with as a teammate because she, she's always talking to you and she's always keeping us in offense. So beyond her scoring and beyond some her settling in and being a good offensive player, which we really need her to be. She, she just, she calms the waters a lot when she's on the floor. And, and that, that goes a long way for a 
for her teammates. So that's a, that's a great compliment when you can be. Right, Daniel Shore from the Daily Evergreen, you're on. Go ahead and ask your question, Daniel. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations on the win. What did you see from the Legger Walker connection on the court today? Well, like I said, I'm probably hard on them a little bit um, in the sense that I think they both can be better. You know, Crystal hasn't played in over two years. So I'm not, I, you know, she had a few turnovers that I'm, I, she's not happy with, we're not happy with. But, you know, you just have to get these guys on the floor. They have to, they have to see, see and feel the game at the speed that it is. You can't simulate that like you can against another team. Um, first time playing someone, you play this um, sporadic team that throws things at you and a lot of chaos. So, you know, I don't think we had a great rhythm and I don't think uh, Crystal had a great rhythm, but I think what you see with those two in particular, and then you add Ula and some of the other players on our team is, I don't know two players that have a better mind for the game. They're just high IQ players. They're great competitors. They have a little bit of a connection. You know, they look for each other and they have a, a probably a sister uh, language that they speak, you know, whether they speak it or not, they, they're, they're, they're talking to each other. So I think it makes a great chemistry on our team. And, and plus they're, you know, they're just great teammates. So they're unbelievably well liked and respected. And, and again, um, because of that, they, they make our team better because they're when they're on the floor. All right. Is there any more questions for Coach Etheridge? I do have one. Yeah. Go ahead, Daniel. All right. Thank you, Coach. It looked like Crystal had a little injury at the end of the game there. What can you tell me about that? Yeah. I mean, we were getting pressed and she just turned back to come to the ball and just, I think her nose hit a defender's head. You know, she just ran right into their defender and, and I think popped her nose pretty bad. So she got a, a pretty good nose bleed. But that, let me tell you, those those ledger walkers are, are really tough kids and, and she won't be out, I assure you that. But but she did get knocked a, a little bit and she probably needed a sub anyway. I hardly took her out. So she's probably a little windy by then anyway. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. We'll talk to you on Sunday. Congrats on the win. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. Thanks.